And this brings us to the psychological benefits of shared reading. Feeling safe and loved. This is so important. Who of us doesn't want to feel safe and loved? Doesn't matter how old we are. These are that's the two most important things for all human beings. Those feelings, though, don't just happen automatically, but require a consistent message of action and words on the part of parents. Shared reading. Shared reading is a time for parents to offer their children their full and undivided attention, and then to be able to respond to their needs accordingly. Now, my parents, I never remember my parents ever reading to me or sharing stories with me. However, one of my fondest memories were the, the few times that I would spend the night over at my grandmother's. So my grandmother had a routine. About an hour before bed, she would pull down this big old children's dictionary. It's probably the only children's book she had, but I didn't care. And she would have me sit in her lap, and she would open the book, and she would slowly turn the pages. And I would be looking at all the little pictures in there, because I love pictures. And I see a picture that interested me, I would point at it. What did she do? She took her finger, and she started reading. And I was just transfixed to every word. I couldn't read. I didn't really understand that connection. But she was modeling shared reading. And when she got to the end, she would then ask me questions. They were very simple questions. And then she would let me ask her questions. I loved that. I never wanted to go to bed. As a matter of fact, the, sometimes when I would go over to her house, I didn't want to wait for bedtime. I wanted shared reading right then and there. Never underestimate the power of shared reading with your children. Not only the bonding experience, but what it can mean to them emotionally and psychologically.